We simply have to focus on this man. Following a hat-trick, does he have another big performance in him this time? Stay with us on EA TV. And hello from the northeast of England. This is the scene here at the Riverside Stadium. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Middlesbrough, and they face Nottingham Forest. Cheers, Derek. Yes, excited about this one. Interesting matchup for me. We should get a good game here, hopefully. And the pass, a good one. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Possession changing hands. But it can't get all the way through. And now they have the ball back. One of many positive things you can say about the visitors is that they have the most potent attack in the league, Lee, and that is official. Well, Derek, the away fans are quite happy to follow the team because they know they're going to see goal. Oh, in with a chance! And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start! Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. 1-0 then. Will the owner of the blue car parked outside reception please move it immediately? Thank you. Johnny Housen. Cabano. George Saville with it. And let's go to Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a change to the scoreline in the Preston match. Alan? It's a goal for Stoke City. It's been scored by Nick Powell. His original shot cannoned off the post and with the keeper on the ground, he steered home the rebound. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Akpom. Now Saddle. Cabano. Oh, superb skill. At times they make passing look easy. Real danger. Will it be? Oh, keeper dealt with it. A corner to Borough and an opportunity for them maybe to get back into the game. And it all counts for naught. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Options in the middle. McKenna. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Abdullah. Happy to take on the shot. And still an opportunity. Well, we've been wondering if this deal might go through. Now it has gone through, and good news for Dortmund fans, Lee. Well, he ticks a lot of boxes for me. Quality all round, energy, technique. He's got the full package. Now Saddle. Akbom. George Saddle with it. Housen here. Borough move it forward with purpose. And he's in. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. McKenna. Knockart. It's with Ribeiro. Amiobi. And on the ball. He's in here. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. 
Well, here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. And then the finish couldn't be simpler, really. Given far too much time and space inside the box, and he doesn't even have to get up in the end. Just nonchalantly heads it past the keeper. The hosts have really controlled possession. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Johnny Housen. Akbom. Now Yannick Bolassi. Cabano. Paddy McNair. Cabano has it. And he read it well defensively. He must finish! And the ball is in the net. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. Into the advanced position. Promising move. An attack full of promise. Shot attempted. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Terrific block there. So the referee brings the first half to an end and it's the visiting... Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Cafu. Krovinovic. And threading it forward. And he's given a corner, they referee. Played into the centre of the box. That's very decisive goalkeeping. I'll try to build a head of steam. Another corner it'll be. And firing it into the area. A very effective clearance. Promising attack, this. Teammates in the middle. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, as we see again, that's how to score goals. Get the ball into the box from wide areas. And that's a good header. Eye on the ball. Concentration. It's a lovely finish. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. A goal has gone in in the Reading match. Alan McAnally has the details. Alan. It's a goal for Reading. 53 minutes played. 1-1. Cheers again, Alan. Well, they keep passing away. Cabano. McNair now. Well, don't forget, action from the fourth round of the FA Cup is coming your way on EA TV. It's Middlesbrough facing Brentford. Well, a super atmosphere of cup football rarely lets you... Real chance! The shot wasn't really far enough away from the goalkeeper, was it? No, but he picked up the flight nice and early. Johnny Housen. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity. And momentum is with them. Well, it's good build-up, and there's one player standing in front of the goal, and it falls to him, and he's not going to miss from there. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Garner. And he read it well. And news of a goal in the Reading game. Alan McAnally can provide us with the details. It's a second goal for Derby County. 66 minutes played, 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Grant Hole. 
I must say, this looks promising. Bolassi. Housen here. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. It looks promising. Just not testing the keeper at all with that cross. Fifteen minutes remaining. And news of a goal in the Preston North End game, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Stoke City. It's been scored by Nick Powell. A fine individual effort beating three defenders. 77 minutes played, 2-1. Many thanks, Alan. On the offensive. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And a throw-in forthcoming. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Now Saville. Fruitful-looking attack. This could level it. And all square now. And you have to ask the question, is the time for either side to win it? Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from that position. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Bolassi. Housen here. Back bomb. And take it away. A bit of running room now on the wing. And there's the feed into the box. What an important piece of defending. Substitution for Middlesbrough. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Chuba Akpon. Coming onto the pitch, number 9, Britt Asimbolo. And taken short. Dangerous looking attack. Can they get in behind them? Cafu. It's with Bong. And it's played into the centre. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, here's the replay. It's a really dangerous ball into the penalty area, and then it's a good heady finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? One minute remaining. Well, that'll be a free kick. And so the final whistle here, the visitors come out on top late. 